Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Chrysler and today I'm going to be doing a hair video. So I was contacted by someone and they offered me to try out this steam comb by Sanwin. And you can get this on Amazon. I looked it up. It costs $50 which I think is pretty good for a hair straightener because the one that I currently own is by Drybar. It's the Trust Press. If you've not seen that video, I will leave a link down below in case you want to check it out. I'm really excited that this opportunity came about while my hair is full force curly. So I have not straightened it in months. I can't remember. I think it was like in April. So at least six months. So this apparently straightens your hair with steam. So I have some water here. So inside we have, oh, it even comes with clips. That's awesome. So it has this little bottle. I didn't expect this. Here we have two clips. There are the teeth and they're hard teeth. They do not move. Here is where you put the water. I can see there's like some condensation inside. So let's, Take that off. Let's open up the manual, check this out. It goes up to 450 degrees, which is cool. The appliance needs 90 seconds to heat up to the selected temperature. Really fast, love that. Here is the steam chamber. And if you open this up, that's where you put in the bottle. Also, do not mind this thumb. There's a situation with that. So I have successfully put water into here. Now it's time to fill up this water chamber. Oh my God, it's leaking out. It opens up even more, so that's a lot easier. I like that this has a Velcro. This is also a swivel cord, so that's good. So you hold down the button, turn it on. While that's heating up, I'm going to section off my hair, comb through it, all that stuff, just prep it. So I just read that when you close the straightener, the steam will come out automatically. So let's try it. Okay, so that's what that means. I'll start with this front piece, even though that's not normally how I do things. Maybe I'll do a smaller section. Nah, let's just go for it. Why am I so nervous? Oh, okay. This is crazy. So my ends, it was a little tough to get through, but um, let's try the ends, just the ends again. So here it is, it's a little bit frizzy. Again, I haven't straightened my hair in months, so I don't know what it would look like. I'm pretty sure it would come out straighter with a straightening iron. And the only thing that I have in here is this Orlando Pita Play um, hair protection, hair protection. I got this in my Fat Fit Fun box and it's a bit of a serum, so maybe I didn't put enough. Maybe a serum would help, but let's continue because this is pretty cool, not gonna lie. Getting your hair in between these teeth can be a little bit complicated. That's the only thing that I'm finding. So I'm going to pause on this side because I forgot that this is the better side for me to straighten in for video because there's more light. So I'm going to see how long it takes me to straighten in my hair with this product. I'm going to time myself and let you guys know. So I'm done straightening my hair and as you can see, it is a bit frizzy. And I just realized when I got to the front section that the steam comes out of this side right here. There are little pictures and arrows I didn't realize because I was actually straightening my hair with it on the bottom. So the flat side on my scalp and I think you're supposed to do it the other way around. So the teeth have a chance to straighten your hair and kind of tug on it a little bit and then the steam will straighten your hair. So I did that on the front section and I think it looks shinier. The back just looks a bit. So I'm going to straighten the other half of my hair and I'll probably end up doing touch ups with my flat iron. So it took me 13 minutes to do one side but that was including detangling and like brushing through my hair. I realized that I had to break out my round brush because getting through my tangles with this comb and this comb was just not working out. So back to my round brush, my very disgusting round brush event. Okay, so here I am 
This is it, all straightened and it's quite frizzy. I'm gonna try a couple of things. I'm going to put in a smoothing serum of some sort because it's just a little wild, you know? That's why I'm not really into straight hair so often now because my hair is curly, it just kind of sits there. It's like together, it's an actual style, but this, it's just, um. A lot, but you do get to play with it, so it's fun. Also want to mention that my hair is now layered, so there are a lot of choppy layers in here. Well, not choppy, but there are layers, so my hair is just different than it was before if you've been watching my channel for a while. I'm also going to fire up the Tress Press to straighten some things out, straighten out the ends, because the one thing that this doesn't do is get the ends looking really nice and polished, so let's do that. This is a comparison of what they look like side by side as far as size, but as far as weight, there's not much of a difference, honestly. I think the reason why this one seems so hard on my hands is because it opens up a lot. Versus this, this one just clamps down a lot easier. So there's a lot of hair, guys. Look at this. I don't even know what to do anymore. So when applying serum, the only one I have here is by Wen, the Sweet Almond Mint. You're actually supposed to put this on wet hair, I believe, but it's fine. I'm just going for it. So the hair is all done. I did have a little bit of trouble just because I'm not used to this method. So I wanna go over a couple of things. First off, I think that the selling point is that you don't have to use a comb or a brush while you straighten your hair, and that is correct. It did make things a lot easier for myself as far as straightening goes. My arms, my shoulders, they feel okay. It's like nothing happened. And it is really easy, really simple. Again, the only thing I had trouble with was putting my hair in between. I was just too ambitious and I just want to know if I could get a lot of hair in there, get it done faster, but no, you do want to take smaller sections of hair, but this will actually stop steaming after a certain amount of time when you start going down. I didn't count how many seconds, but you can go relatively fast if you only have a small you know, thin piece of hair in there and it'll stop steaming. So if you have really long hair, you might have to go back up and straight in. So as far as the results with this, I think it depends on what kind of person you are, what kind of hair you have, because I believe the effects of this have the same effects as a blowout. So I've only gotten one blowout in my entire life, that was in beauty school, and I'm really happy that I experienced a blowout because I didn't know if it was better. It is very full, there's volume on the top. Since you don't put this all the way up to your root as close as a hair straightener, I think that's what gives your roots still a mind of its own, if you know what I mean, like it's not being manipulated as much. The downside is of course straightening the ends. So the nature of curly hair is just not fun as far as straightening. I can look at someone and tell if they have curly hair that's been straightened just by looking at the ends. It kind of splays out. If you have curly hair, you know what I'm talking about. See how it just looks like that. And I do not have any split ends. So that is one thing I want to say. I got a haircut about a week and a half ago. And as far as going over with this, I did have some trouble just because I was lazy. My hair was already straight. I didn't have to go through each tiny little section to get it to be straight. So as you saw in the clip, when I was straightening or curling in the ends to make them look a little bit better, I did have to use my round brush. And that is because I personally like holding my hair with a round brush when it goes through anything. Even with this thing, it was kind of hard for me to not hold my hair. So one example. So if I were to straighten this piece of hair, I just prefer holding it with a brush and then being able to put it in because it lays kind of flat and then when it's in there i really like to catch the hair with a round brush so that is my review on the steam comb oh it's a steam brush so those are my thoughts on this steam brush i hope this video was helpful to you i will leave any information in my old hair straightening videos curly hair routines if you're interested in that down below um please give it a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful um i hope you're having a magical day and i'll see you in the next video bye